All right, what's up, folks? It's me, Barky, and I'm here with another mod for Rimworld 1.0, and this is the Real Ruins mod. Now, basically, what this mod does is every time you spawn on a map from the start, it'll take your blueprints from another player, their blueprints, and sort of imprint it on your map. So I'm in the world. I'm in the map right now. I came from the world tab. Um, and you can see we just spawned a few seconds ago with the drop pods crashing and we have all sorts of Almost like ancient runes sort of thing like that sort of look to them around the map But you can see they're very much player made Which is interesting and that's exactly how this mod works So when you finish or when you die in this game you upload a snapshot of your base and that snapshot gets uploaded to a server and then when you install the mod you can download different bases in a sense and then it'll randomly place them on your map and it'll destroy them and damage them somewhat as you can see it's 154 out of 420 um you do need to claim all of them so i'm gonna go ahead and do that there's a mod settings uh thing that, that i'll take a look at in a few seconds let's take a look we can just walk around the bases and stuff see how good of a start this would be so as i said we just started the drop pods dropped the stuff off Oof, look at this, dude. Oh, man. Oh, and we just walk through. Trap, it looks like. Yeah. Okay. Um, anyways, yeah, so you can see the traps around. And if the traps aren't claimed, then, of course, they're going to trigger on you. At, like, a 99% chance of it happening. That would be a really good start, actually, in this area of the world. Uh, let's take a look at that. Swan. Nice, big rooms. As you can see... This is what a channel member's room looks like. Let's try to find a pleb room. This is a pleb room. That's not a pleb room. It's a freezer. Whatever. That's a pleb room here. This little, this two, two place. Um, but yeah, I think that's, oh no, one more here. All right, let's take a look at this. Okay. Pleb room. Channel member's room. Um, but anyways, so we can go ahead and leave this world now. And take a look at the mod settings, which can allow you to edit a lot of the stuff you see. So, this is a really, really interesting page. Um, I can go through everything, what everything does, but uh, you can just get the gist of it. When you download maps, it gives, it uses a little bit of memory, um, and you can limit the size. You can change it to whatever you want. I don't want to put it down to less than like 100 or something. But yeah, you can change it, and you can just click on download more, and it'll download more. Obviously, there is a limit to how many maps you can have whether it's your space or how many maps are actually in the server but yeah so you can change the runes de density over here and set it to 20 times so you'll see a lot more of them and then this is the area of the runes so you can make them as big as you want to um let's just leave it like that since we're making 20 times and you can say the additional deterioration degree so this is how much things were damaged. So obviously you saw in the world they were damaged by like 40 to 50% at least. You can set that up if you want. Um, from 0% to 100%. It's just an additional one. So it doesn't change the base value. And then scavenger activity. So this is how much stuff has been taken off the map I believe. It's almost like someone scavenged it already. And then you come through and join the base. And it tells you how many times it's been scavenged before. So that's pretty cool. So this would be pretty pristine stuff. This would be a lot of stuff gone, a lot of stuff damaged, stuff like that. Limit maximum item costs. Obviously, you can find the craziest shit on the floor. If you're playing with Glitter Tech, you might be able to find some automated assault rifle for like 13,000 silver. You spawn with that on the map in the beginning, and the second raid you get is going to be like a host of like 20 to 30 tribals, and they'll completely swarm you. Then the passive specials amount. This is how many bodies are on the floor. This is going to be changed though, apparently. But uh, yeah, you can set it so you find a lot of bodies. The traps on the map, so you can set this to have thousands of traps or none. Um, hostile units amount. I don't actually know exactly what this is because I've never seen a hostile unit and I've been using this mod for quite a while now. Um, yeah, let's set that up to max, but I guess we can see maybe. But anyways, I can't seem to find out what it does. And then disable spawning items. So items spawn on the floor. As you saw, there was food in the freezer and stuff like that. Um, you can disable that. Spawn walls and doors only. So this just gets rid of everything. Go ahead and make a new world. Also, I've tried to record this video twice and my game crashed both times. I don't know why. Alright, so for the rest of this video, my microphone messed up for some reason. I have no idea why. So, I'm just going to leave it and put some music on and just show you all what's happening. You can see all the food here. But you can see how this world generation works. Basically, we have a whole lot of other players' bases. A lot of traps. I heal myself quite often. Well, I explore after I claimed everything. But yeah, it adds a ton of wealth to you. So... 
if that's not the kind of way you want to play, then don't use this mod, because it can be a really, really fast way of giving yourself wealth. I know there will be a few questions regarding how mods work and stuff like that, so from what I can tell, if you, if the person who uploaded the base has modded materials or modded walls and stuff like that in his base, it'll replace everything modded with just a rock chunk. So just almost like a cave-in rock chunk, what it looks like when a cave falls down. In Rimworld, you'll see that around. Um, and I like this, I think it's really, really cool. So it's completely mod compatible in the sense that it just purges all modded stuff if you don't have the mods. If you do have the right mods, it'll work. But obviously there's no ways to find out if you do have the right mods because they're random bases. But you can see how dense this map is, just filled with old players' bases. Um, beds everywhere, that's the biggest thing with this mod. And traps, man, there's so many traps and skeletons and stuff like that. Still a lot of fun though, so please go give it a try. Um, I'm gonna leave the rest of the video, just put on some music, just me exploring around. Um, but yeah, thank you guys very much for watching, I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Hey, thank you very much for making it to the end of the video, it's really really awesome of you. I've got a Discord server that's free for all to join if you'd like to come and have a chat with me or anyone else. And I've also opened up a Patreon page to help fund my videos, so if any of those interest you, please go ahead and take a look at the description. Have a great day and thank you very much for watching.